Hi everyone, Ian Marsh here with another episode of Street Smart Business TV, and today I'm actually continuing on from the previous episode that I did. So I'm gonna be focusing today on conversions. So this is where you've actually done your lead generation system, and then they've said, hey, listen, they put their hand up, they wanna know more about you. And in the previous episode, I actually referred to aged care as the example, because that is a huge niche, a huge opportunity moving forward for those smart enough to get into it. So with this in mind, if you're in aged care and you've got lead generation, I want you to imagine the journey where you've put your marketing out there because you followed my recommendations on how to create a marketing system. And then they've said, hey, listen, tell me more. And they're coming to you because they're interested in the possibility of you actually looking after them as they get older and you know, giving them the life that they want. So for this to happen, what many individuals do is they focus on one thing first because they're paranoid about it. They're absolutely obsessed about it. And that one thing is, yes, you guessed it, price. Ladies and gentlemen, you should not even start to be thinking about price right now. What you need to be thinking about is if you can help these individuals because your aged care place must stand for something, guys. Okay, you can't just be an aged care centre. You've got to be a unique aged care centre. Something that actually looks after or known for something that other aged care centres aren't renowned for. Now, going back to one of my past companies, Marsh Air Conditioning, I was renowned for being an organisation that would guarantee the temperature in somebody's home or they would get their air conditioning for free. Now this is how I got to be one of the largest air conditioning companies in Australia, ladies and gentlemen, so it must work. Now with that concept in mind, how could you actually stand for something in aged care? Well in the previous episode, what I was actually referring to was the worries and the fears and the frustrations that individuals may have when they're actually thinking about getting an aged care centre. And a lot of the times the children are involved in this decision as well. So don't forget them, okay, because they're gonna be involved in this whole sales process. So if uh, you're looking at selling them the opportunity to come and stay in your centre, don't be thinking about price. What you actually need to do is start to understand how you can help them. And we refer to this as consultative selling. So you get them to come in and you have a conversation with them and you say, look, I really don't know if we have the right center for you or not, but perhaps can you tell me, uh, what are the things that you're concerned about when you're thinking of getting an ACE center? Because this is a very big decision and we understand the importance of you making the right decision because it's going to be your home again for, for a lot of your life. So tell me, what are the biggest concerns that you're having? You know, what are, you, you've got independence, you used to be driving around all the time, you used to be able to do what you want. What are you, what's your sort of perception of what it might be like if you came and lived here? And then you shut up, ladies and gentlemen, and you listen to what their wants, needs, fears and desires are. And you get to understand the things that they would really love. You get them to explain what would be the ideal experience if anything was possible that they would love to have if they came here and stayed at your establishment. And then, once they've actually explained that to you, you can then go and show them the solutions to uh, the things that they're worried about because you probably have addressed most of the worries that they have. So you've got to enter the conversation that's happening in their minds when you're actually wanting to convert them. You've actually got to lower the resistance, lower the fear factor so that there's no risk of them coming into your premises. So that when they come in and they see you, if they've made the wrong decision, what can they do? Well, no foul, that's all right, dude. Don't worry about it, we stand behind it. We believe this is the very best, the most amazing aged care center in existence. This is what we live and this is our mission in life. And if you don't think this is the right decision for you, you know what? We're actually going to wear it. So if you come in and, and don't think this is the right decision, uh, you can actually choose another place. In fact, we will help you find one, but we know that this is going to be the best environment for you. Now, when you're having a conversation like that with a person and a family, because most of the time I'm imagining it would be a family, do you, have you taken your eye off price? Is it so much not that this is actually the cheapest place that you can stay, this is not the, um, uh, the, the, the place that fits in our budget, 
This is actually the most amazing place where you're going to be so happy. You'll be happier than where you were when you used to live. And if that's the case, they're happy to pay any price that they can afford. And the children want to do the right thing by their parents. So when you address it like this, ladies and gentlemen, you will get your eye off price. Now, some of you out there might be saying, oh, no, 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 we've got to talk about price. Well, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. What's the car that you're driving right now? Was it the cheapest possible car you could get your hands on? Or was it a car that you could have reasonably afford within your budget, but one that made you feel good? You know, some of you out there are driving BMWs and Mercedes and, and uh, Lexus cars. Well, they're not the cheapest on the market, are they? Why did you buy them when you could get a Commodore or a Hyundai or whatever else? I'm sure China's gonna be popping them out here pretty soon. You don't buy it because it's the cheapest car, you buy it because of how it makes you feel. Have a look at the clothes that you're wearing right now. Are you wearing those clothes because they were the cheapest clothes that you could possibly get? Well, I know around about 5% of you watching this probably say, yeah, I got a great deal at, at uh, Target. It was an amazingly cheap price. But I tell you, 95% of the market out there are saying, you know what, I bought this top because it really makes me look good and it really makes my figure stand out. So I buy my suits, they're not because they're the cheapest, I buy them because of the way they help me look and feel. And it's exactly the same when you're offering your services, ladies and gentlemen. People do consider price, but it's probably about 20% of the buying decision. Most of the buying decision is about how that purchase will make them feel, uh, what are the risks involved with them making that purchase? And if they make the wrong decision, are they gonna be stuck with this choice for the rest of their lives? Because this is another fear that many people have, and that is the fear of making the wrong choice. And that's why individuals hate making any decision whatsoever. So when you're looking at getting that lead and turning them into a client, have this conversation with them. Don't you think it's fair enough? Don't you think before you should start to sell anything to anyone, you gotta understand what they want? And then if you got the solution, you say, dude, I've got the perfect solution for you. And if you just sign this paperwork, we'll get you started right away. That is how you can achieve a very, very high conversion rate, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a very, very powerful process that I've just shared with you.